easily add any dynamic wind source to your plants inside a C4D. I finally figured it out. I know you guys have been waiting a while for this one. I teased it a while ago, but I've kind of been um, making it as efficient and simple and effective as possible. So hopefully you appreciate that. If you do, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. But we've got this nice organic tree where the trunk kind of moves, tree limbs, trees move, and it's all very controllable. And we also works on like small plants, and I'll show you how to set that up. But it's very, very easy to do, and so we're going to do that, um, which has been great. Now, if you've been expecting a liquid tutorial, they're coming. I've been trying to figure that out as well. Basically, the particle system of the liquid phi modifier is amazing. But as soon as you add the liquid mesh to it, it, it turns into... I don't know. It gets weird. Um, but we'll, we'll get to those later. Okay, so all we do, we go to Create, then we go to Generators, and go down to Plant Generator. If you need to know more about this and how to set this up, uh, I have a whole tutorial on how to build a forest and stuff. But we're going to click in here, and we'll do something like Palm Tree. And we'll just double-click that. Boom. Change the editor mode to render geometry so we can actually see it. And then we're going to right click this and choose connect objects and delete. Just so we have an actual static mesh that we can use to do this. Now, here's the cool part. All we gotta do is sh shift click on the modifiers here and let go on jiggle. Now jiggle by itself isn't gonna do anything, right? Um, not, not really, but the cool part is, is it has forces, which means we can use forces like simulate forces wind and it doesn't matter where you put this you know it's kind of like an infinite light all that matters is the angle of it so if i take this here and i put it facing you know to the right it's still going to blow everything to the right so check this out all right so wind we'll turn it up and turn up the turbulence and the frequency of the turbulence for now right just some basic settings inside of our jiggle we are going to just grab this wind and drag it into forces now when we hit play you're going to see our whole tree jiggles now that on its own isn't bad right <laughs> that's just kind of crazy about it all right so our wind settings you know we crank those up if we want and then we get whoa right but the trees all bendy it's getting kind of weird um it's not ideal right and then but the the thing is that's cool is we can easily affect you know control what part of the tree it's affecting and then on top of that, um, <laughs> how to control it, though, I, something about this is hilarious to me. All right, uh, let's go ahead and just with this uh, jiggle selected, we'll go to fields and we'll just grab like a capsule. Capsule field, slide it up and pull it up a bit. And so now it's going to only affect everything inside of here. So we've got the 100% value here and then the fall off to the outside. Now, obviously, we want the opposite of this. We want it to affect everything except the trunk, the base of the trunk, right? So we click down here, click and hold, and choose invert. Now it's going to do everything else. So now, you see, we have this, like, hard <laughs> fall off where the tree is doing that. So obviously not, like, perfect in any way, but slide that down or just adjust the way it works the reason I'm doing this versus a linear field is because I do want it to affect the tree limbs on the bottom. So we can just grab our capsule and really just, we can expand the inside so there's like less fall off and kind of just do it like that, right? And obviously our wind and stuff is just too strong right now. So there's a couple things we can do. We can either use our wind and, you know, adjust the wind speed, which I think is probably the first thing we would do. So maybe like 50, that's pretty good. But we can also adjust our jiggle, right? So we can lower the stiffness, which is gonna allow it to like spring back and forth a little bit. Or we can increase the drag so it's a little slower. You know, so it's a little less shocking. Now we'll, we'll fix this because this is bugging me. Um, but yeah, we'll do stiffness up a little bit and lower the strength a bit. Because if we turn off Jiggle altogether, right, we're, we're not going to get anything. That's what's crazy about it. Now, if you want to see why not use soft bodies, because it, it just breaks. It just doesn't work. Okay, let's see. Here's why we don't use soft bodies. Let me show you. Because I can hear the questions now. Why don't you just use soft bodies? Right click, under tags, sorry, simulation tags, soft body on the coconut palm. Okay, default settings. We'll do a softness of like one. Okay, and hit play. It's just a mess. Why 
why mess with that when you can just do this? Right? So, okay, that's why. Um, and I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying this is beginner friendly. All right. All right. So the way jiggle works is basically it just makes it have a little spring action to it. Now we can increase some gravity here, like maybe negative 50. So it kind of falls down a little, right? Or we can do like positive 50. So it kind of stretches up. I think that kind of helps with the bend a little bit. Uh, but we're going to grab this inside one again and just warm, kind of stretch it out a bit like that. Yeah. And then we want to go to the remapping and the inner offset will pull down. Like so. So we'll get like a little bend at the top of the tree. And I think we just have a little too strong of a wind. Or maybe just the scale of our turbulence is too high. So if you lower that down, you get more like blah, 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 right, real quick little things, which is going to be like this is going to be good for individual leaves and stuff like that. So like that by itself looks weird, but when you combine it with a jiggle that also has um, a lot more stiffness on it and a lot more drag, it might be okay. No, it's not good. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of this cool um, balancing act. And you can combine multiple. Like, this looks pretty good for, like, leaf movement. I like that leaf movement. But I want more overall wind. So let's add another wind, do a jiggle. Uh <laughs> And go to forces and add that wind in. And this wind, we can just make, you know, be like the bigger, like a 120, a lot less turbulence, and more just like blowing it. Bigger scale, like that. So between those two, we should get a nice balance between like this one, you know, affecting leaves so at that point it looks kind of silly but they're dialing that in you got some nice leaf movement there and then overall a big thing just like that and we could take this overall wind and you know change the direction blow it down a little bit we can blow it up blow it back whatever direction and I'll obviously move this capsule up a bit more we don't want it to be like that and you can come all the way up to the top and make it more stiff on the actual branches themselves, which might be ideal. And then you could put a little bend on the trunk if you wanted to. I do want to make that bigger so it's all encapsulated there. All right, so looking at that, that doesn't look that good. We need some movement in the trunk. So we can either, like, keep messing with this or we can start stacking some things on like a bend modifier which we can fit to this and keep the length and maybe just animate it a bit now if you notice uh so what we can do is maybe just keyframe a little bit here we'll do that and we'll go about 150 and maybe do like 15 but we'll go like uh, 75 and do like four there. And then we'll just yeah, cycle that. Doesn't really matter. And then we'll take the bottom one, control, click, and drag back down to there. Now, don't get worried out. Don't get worried if it gets all crazy during it. Jiggle does that. If you just scrub through, Jiggle just goes nuts. Jiggle always has to be played from the beginning. But yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Now it's a little extra wobbly, I think. I think that's kind of how it normally goes. You really want to see the effect, and then when you realize it's just too much because nothing's really playing back at full time. So we'll take our main big win and just kind of kind of turn it down a bit. Maybe like 30. Yeah, so now we're getting the bend. And the bend will go with the jiggle as well. So as it bends back and forth, should be fine. And uh, we'll re-render that out. But I think that's going to gonna be nice.
All right, let's see how that looks in comparison. Much, much better. That looks nice. So yeah, you're just gonna ignore those first like couple frames. But yeah. That looks good. Cool. So yeah, there you go. So I would just you know render that out and then cut off the first couple frames. This is the only downside is that you can't scrub through it. Even if you cache it, I don't know if it's a bug or something, but um it just wants to freak out. So you always have to play it from the beginning. There are limitations, right? Uh it's not, you know, perfect. Um, but it is very helpful for like small plants, palm trees, stuff like that. Uh, you know, things that are going to be in the background is what I would focus on rather than things in the foreground. But yeah, the same thing can be applied to like ferns, stuff like that. Obviously, you need to adjust the wind settings for the ferns. Like this fern is using a jiggle. It's got the stiffness cranked up, the drag cranked up a little bit, but it's using wind 0.1, which wind 0.1 is very small. Wind speed's low, turbulence is low. Like, you get too crazy, it's going to go nuts. So what I did want to cover real quick is how to do it with um, vertex painting versus, like, a field force uh, kind of thing in the fields. Like I said, I'm using one of these, how to use the vertex maps here. So very, very easy. All we have to do is inside of your object, you can go to your vertex color, and just literally paint what you want. And then you're going to want to either invert it here, which is pretty easy. Just like the tag and click invert. Or uh, inside of the attribute panel here, you do that. So then you go to your jiggle and you just, you go to fields and you just drag and drop that vertex map you painted in there. And if it needs to be inverted, then you again, just invert it right there. And if you don't see it right there, just click and hold, invert is in there. But that's it. That's how you do it. All right, so yeah, let's say you've got a you know product shot here. You've got your lotion in front of the background here. Click to focus on that real quick. Boom, boom. Okay, click to focus on that and turn up the bokeh like maybe two. There you go. And so now with that background, you know, just kind of that movement in there for the background, it's going to be kind of a natural look, um, which will be nice, you know. So then you have that kind of nice set up like that so you can play around with stuff like that so just a food for thought uh it's not perfect but it is a lot easier than messing with dynamics and it might be able to get you the results you want for stuff like arc viz shots and things it just seemed like a tiny bit of motion uh stuff like that but yeah okay so enjoy that thank you uh like and subscribe and we'll get more coming